car replaced. Now, uh, this move is um, it shouldn't be a way really to get a theoretical advantage, but it's a way to get your opponent out of theory. Uh, the normal French defence move is d5, and now e5. And in the French defence, you nearly always put your pawn on c5, getting a bit of control of centre. Knight f3, knight c6, and these are all very normal moves, trying to control this square. It's often a fight for the central d4 square. And now Hikaru tries c3. And again, it's about this square. He, he often wants to put his pawn on b4 and just consolidate with a very nice pawn structure. Then if you can get that kind of pawn structure, it was like a game for the candidates actually recently with Wang Hao White against Grischuk and I even saw um, Magnus Carlsen commentating on that game on the Chess24 channel. And he's basically saying that pawn structure is, is positionally winning for White with the extra space, but you're a long way from getting that. Black continues his fight for this square. White continues his fight for this square. Black continues his fight for this square. White continues his fight for the square. So this is the current position. And this really should be an edge for white, should it? Um, uh, out this one, Harry, do you think? I mean, it's... I it think it's, uh, it's still, we are perhaps in, uh, in some kind of theory. I'm not sure what is the, uh, what is the uh, situation with this. Maybe it's gonna be D4 somehow, uh, to, to somehow stop this. Uh, and white is maybe going to go bishop d3, bishop e4, or just short castle kind of things. Of course, uh, we are still, uh, uh, we are just uh, maybe like how many moves uh, do we have on the board? We only have seven moves, so seven far. moves, and I do think that this is theory. Uh, yeah, and I don't know if uh, what is the best move here, but uh, I do know that it's uh, it's simple. It's an excellent advance setup if white manages to get d4, bishop d3 and short castle. That's just uh, almost winning. Yeah. yeah, I totally agree. Let's just show that. So what white is aiming for is um, if black doesn't pay any attention here at all and just, you know, play some bad moves, you need to be very aware of what your opponent's trying to do in chess. And one of the most common mistakes that club lower rated players play, they only concentrate on their own ideas and they don't stop their opponents from doing the thing. They, want, they, they should be doing. So, okay, well, he's got bishop d7. Let's say this move is played, and now if black just bodied on with like bishop e 7 bishop d3, castles. After white castles, white has a tremendous position because of this pawn center. You, as black, you need to really fight against that center, and you can't really break against it with any, any, anything now. So, white would, would have this, this great position. Um, well, okay, he, he's got bishop d7, so I, I guess after d4, black needs to play something uh, spicy here. Like, maybe pawn takes pawn at knight b4. It's yeah, not... yeah, that's a, that's a very interesting idea indeed. Uh, c takes d4, uh, knight b4. Often this, this is a good, uh, good exchange for black, and uh, you can also get the bishop to b5. quite like uh, exchanging this uh, light square bishop. I mean, I had a nice game. get the bishop uh, to b5 and exchange uh, the line square. I, I still think that it's...